In this video, we'll look at a few examples to practice calculating the mode for sets of data. In example A, it says the posted speed limit along a busy highway is 65 miles per hour. The following values represent the speeds in miles per hour of 10 cars that were stopped for violating the speed limit. What is the mode? So to find the mode, you look through your data and see if any number has been repeated more than once. And if so, look for the numbers that have been repeated the most times. So I look through and I notice there's a 76 here and no other 76s, 81, no other 81s, 79 has been repeated, there's two of those, 80, but no other 80s, 78, no other 78s, 83, 77, 82, and 75 are all singles. So that means the mode is 79 because that is the only speed that was repeated more than once. Example B, the weekly wages of seven randomly selected employees of Wendy's were $98, $125, $75, $120, and $110, $110 respectively. What is the mode of these wages? So we want to look and see if there's any repetition in these seven numbers. 98 is only there once, 125 is only once, 75, 120, 86, 92, and 110. There is no repetition, so that means there's no mode. Remember, it's always possible that there is no mode if there's only one of every single data point. So in this case, there is no mode. Example C, six students attending a local swimming competition were asked what color bathing suit they were wearing. The responses were red, blue, black, pink, green, and blue. What is the mode of these responses? So this is an example of qualitative data because they're not numbers, these are colors, but we can still figure out the mode by looking to see if there was any color that was repeated the most times. So I notice there is only one red, I see two blues, and the rest are different, black, pink, and green. So that means that the mode is blue, that was the only color that was repeated by two different swimmers.